Hello everybody, my colleagues and fellow educators. Welcome to this video, which is the third of our series on solving questions from the TKT Clio test. So we've already done two videos before this one. This is our third practice, as you can see on the cover of this um, slide sequence. But let's move right into the third task and see what is at stake here for us. So, um, today we're going to be dealing with task number three. And we already know that when we look at the TKT Clio test, the first part of the test is divided into four different sections. This is the third section or task. Actually, it's one of the sections divided into tasks, to be better put, so that we can match the same language that we have used before. So this task includes questions 14 to 19. And if we look at the instructions above, for questions 14 to 19, match the teacher's questions with the main thinking skills they aim to develop, listed A, B, and C. So we have the thinking skills, reasoning, creative thinking, evaluating. And then we have the questions that teachers or the teacher is asking the students. So we have to analyze the question and determine which is the main thinking skill that the question aims to develop. All right, so let's delve a little bit deeper into this question. As we said before, um, this is the first section of the TKT Clio test, which, which tests our knowledge and, um, of Clio itself and of the principles of Clio. So this is very important. And why is this important? Because we need to determine which one of the areas of teaching knowledge um, this question refers to. Well, if we're talking about thinking skills, we're definitely talking about cognitive skills. So we're, they're not assessing aims of Clio, they're not assessing language or communication skills or learning skills across the curriculum. We are being tested on the cognitive skills that Clio entails, right? So, as we saw before, uh, the, the four tasks comprise, are comprised of 25 questions. And this particular task includes six of them. So what do we need to know about cognitive skills? Well, the, one of the main tenets of Clio are cognitive skills. And the main concept of cognitive skills on Clio is based on what we know from Bloom's taxonomy and some other types of organization of thinking skills. So remember that from Bloom's taxonomy, uh, thinking skills, they go to lower level skills, which are remember, understand, and apply, to higher level thinking skills, which are analyze, evaluate, and create. And if you think of, of the main thinking skills given in this particular task, reasoning, creative thinking, and evaluating, they do correspond to different areas or different thinking skills that you can find in Bloom's taxonomy. So reasoning, probably relates to analyzing and applying because those two uh, tasks they require reasoning creative thinking probably relates to creating something right which is also a key component of bloom's taxonomy and evaluating um, there's a direct correspondent um, in bloom's taxonomy evaluate this is something we need to know from the start so that we go uh, through the right path Right, or we follow the right path when answering the question. So let's give it a shot. Right, so what's the task here it's to match question to thinking skill? And what's the strategy? Focus on the behavior or the action triggered by the question. Because if we look at each one of those, um, here for example, how would you assess the different rhythms that you heard played on the percussion? According to the graph, which is the city with the highest rainfall? So the students are analyzing a graph. Who do you think are the most interesting characters in the historical biography? Which features would you like to have in your ideal ecological school? What new sport would you invent that could be played in space? This is important. A lot of creativity going on into this question here, right? We already got some hints as to what the answer is. Which prime minister behaved responsibly during the talks? So the student is making a choice here, right? This is for us to see what the different 
questions focus on. So let's move on and try to answer them here. So how would you assess the different rhythms you heard played on the percussion instrument? Well, one may be easily fooled by the verb assess here, because the verb assess means to evaluate. If you see the verb assess, you may think, well, the students are evaluating information. But when you look at the rest of the question, the different rhythms you heard played on the percussion instrument. So the students are going to listen to rhythm and then assess them. But in order to assess, they have to think about what they heard before. So even though there is a verb assess, which is the verb I'm referring to, which makes a direct correspondence to evaluate, this question is not really asking the students to evaluate as the main task. It's asking them to reason on something that they have heard. So the answer here is going to be A. It's actually a question that tests reasoning as a thinking skill, or that requires students to apply reasoning. Let's look at number 15. According to the graph, which is the city with the highest rainfall? So students are going to look at the graph and analyze the graph and determine which city has the highest rainfall. Of course, they're also reasoning. So 15 is also A. Who do you think are the most interesting characters in the historical biography? So students are going to read a historical biography and they're going to choose the most interesting characters, probably based on criteria of their own. So in this case, they're going to be making a judgment about something. If you're making a judgment, you are evaluating. That's C. I hope you've been able to understand how we're going about answering these questions. You really have to unpack the question here and translate the question into a behavior. What will the students will need to do? For question 14, they're going to have to think about the rhythms and um, make sense of them, reason. And for question 15, they're going to have to look at a graph and determine which city has the highest rainfall. So they're thinking, they're reasoning also. For 16, they're going to have to make a judgment about a character. So that's evaluating. Number 17, which features would you like to have in your ideal ecological school? Again, that's not a school that fits under certain standards or categories. The students are free to choose. So that is an activity that involves creativity, creative thinking, because students will pick whichever features they want to based on, on their own logic. 18, what new sport would you invent which could be played in space? Again, another very open situation, um, giving a lot of freedom to students to create. And you can see even the verb invent makes a direct reference to creativity here. Of course, um, 18 is also B. And number 19, which prime minister behaved responsibly during the talks on the peace process? Again, students are making a judgment. If they're making a judgment, they're evaluating. So 19 is C. So notice that we have three main types of cognitive skills here. Making judgments, creating with a lot of freedom, and organizing information, which correspond to evaluating, creative thinking, and reasoning, respectively. I hope this has been helpful um, in terms of giving you an idea of how to answer this question or similar questions. And if you want to learn more about Clio, don't forget to check out the materials, uh, the book by Kay Bentley, which is a great Clio, a TKT Clio test prep book, and the free handbook that is put together by Cambridge to help us prepare for the test. If you like this video, please like it, make a comment, and don't forget to check out the suggestions that we're leaving for you here at the end. See you in the next video.